They say one of the keys to staying young is keeping active and finding a passion that fills your heart with joy. And that pretty much sums up the philosophy of the inspiring artist you're about to meet. Veronica Cooper has her story. When I was little, I was always interested in doing things with my hands. Meet Bill and Geraldine Bruckel, married 60 years. When we moved here tw over 20 years ago, I walked on the beach with Bill and dog and all of a sudden I saw all that beautiful glass around me. And being an artist, you know, it, it just attracted me. And, I and what a passion it's become. Well, this is an eagle, mermaids, got a horse. See, my early settlers, the whole family walking around, see where they can find a place to live. All created with sea glass, but that's just one outlet for this artist. There's my Elvis. I did a life-size Elvis painting because I'm an Elvis fan. And I glued the bling-blings because Elvis loves bling-blings. Geraldine has never had formal art training. I had one lesson from uh, a friend of mine. He was an artist. And I learned the basics mostly, mostly about what he told me. This used to be my garage, and I'm gradually being pushed out. I can't even get my car in anymore. I think it is a, a nice hobby, keeps it out of my hair. <laughs> Humor is obviously one secret to this long, happy marriage. Bill gave me this birthday card on my 80s, so I thought I'll put it here to remind me. I might forget. <laughs> we got married at the 28th of December because at that time I was single. I could get a whole year income tax back. I would have lost the whole year of income tax. <laughs> so that's, that's how we started. Well, you have to take the good with the bad because we are so different from one another, you know, and uh, sometimes you just have to ignore what you don't like. And what I do is I go to my studio and I forget about it and so I don't bug him. Geraldine's also a published author. I studied the history of Sydney for about a year and then I sketched whatever I was reading and I put it into a book. And just how old is this passionate creator? I'm 80. <laughs> and she credits her art with keeping her young. Yes. Because, you know, you forget all about your troubles uh, and you can just be busy. It's good for the soul because it brings it all out in your work. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.